Breaking right now, the former delivery driver charged with murdering a Boca Raton woman is found guilty. Closing arguments wrapped up this afternoon in the trial of Jorge Lachazo. A judge found that Lachazo beat and burned 75-year-old Evelyn Udell to death while making a delivery to her home four years ago. Good evening, I'm Tiffany Kenny. I'm Todd McDermott, thanks for joining us here at five o'clock. As previously agreed to, the now convicted Hialeah man will not face the death penalty when he's sentenced. Jade Jarvis is live at the courthouse in West Palm Beach with more on the verdict that judge reached today. Jade. Well, Todd and Tiffany, that judge found Jorge Lachazo guilty on three out of four counts that he was charged with, including first degree murder and burglary. Now, this verdict came after a three day trial. Today, prosecutors wrapped up their case, bringing in more witnesses to the stand, including a detective from the Boca Raton Police Department who arrived to that crime scene in 2019 and interrogated Lachazo. That interrogation video was also played in the courtroom for the judge to hear. Then the defense gave its closing arguments, trying to poke holes in the prosecution's evidence and saying there was a huge cloud of uncertainty over what exactly transpired in Udell's home when she was killed because there weren't any witnesses inside to see it. The prosecution rebutting those claims, saying that Lachazo's fingerprints on the acetone can that was used to set Udell's body on fire, his actions afterwards, including running out of the house and escaping in a box truck, and his statements to police when they arrived at the scene all pointed to his guilt in this case. The judge, right before four this afternoon, delivering that verdict. This court finds the defendant, Jorge Dupre, guilty of first degree murder as charged in the indictment. As to count two, the court finds the defendant guilty of burglary as charged in the indictment. Now, Lachazo will be sentenced to life in prison for the first degree murder charge because, like you said, that death penalty was taken off of the table. He will be back in court on April 5th for sentencing for the burglary and arson charges that he was also found guilty of. Live in West Palm Beach, Jade Jarvis, WPBF 25 News.